How's it going guys? Welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5 career. I want to keep this thing going. We've, we're in some sort of weird ass groove that is just not, like, I, I don't know how to explain it. I, I'm not able to do this often, but look at this. Indianapolis win. Pocono win. Pocono win. Chicagoland, that was a little bit unfortunate. Sonoma win. Michigan win. Kansas second. Charlotte win. And Martinsville the last time we had like a really bad race. But um, yeah, it, it is going really well. Now we have Kentucky, we have New Hampshire, and we have Michigan coming up. Three tracks that, you know, maybe Kentucky will be the most challenging out of those three. Uh, the Speedway car, again, it's going to be at all 100s around because we're, we're racing pretty clean. So, um, for example, if I wasn't racing clean, this car that needs repair would be like 72, 71, 72. Because I am racing clean, it stays 79 all the way around. That gives me plenty of time. To turn it around for the next race so this car will be ready for New Hampshire um, and then at that point after that it's just like it doesn't matter what I, I do I mean we could just auto assign the rest of employees and we're, we're good to go so uh, it's looking good right now we have five million dollars in the bank to add another car would be 9.3 so I don't think that's necessarily worth it at the moment uh, everything is going splendidly at the moment uh, season standings we do have I think it is uh, what is it 60, is it 62 playoff points? We have 10 wins, 10 times, that's 50, 12, yeah, 62 playoff points uh, right now, and we will try to make that 67 or 68 um, or 69. Hopefully that would be really nice, uh, and, and if not, then it is what it is. Four top fives for the incentive contract. I'm going to keep trying to do those because I really want, uh, you know, just as much money as possible. I'd like to buy the fifth car, um, get more of the, the team, uh, you know, just yeah, I like to buy both cars, but that's not gonna happen. Get more of the team uh, fleshed out here, and uh, let's get to it. Quickly check the settings to make sure I've not changed anything from the last episode. We have not. We still have multiple race stages, strict yellows, everything else is the same. Let's continue and uh, let's see if we come from the back to the front of Kentucky. All right, here we go. This is gonna transition from day to night, so let's see what we can do. Let me put this volume up. You gotta get that going. Um, now again, I'm going for stage wins only. 15 laps. 19 laps in stage one. So the goal here is to, who's the leader? Denny Hamlin. Uh, get to Denny Hamlin, put him in a situation where we could maybe get the stage win. To do that, we have to make sure he is within a certain, uh, you know, time. What is the time frame? You know, position gap, whatever. Uh, but I would say within three seconds. If he's within three seconds of us, uh, by the time we pit, then we should be uh, fine to get that stage win. I don't think I have swept a race in terms of stages. I don't, I don't think I have just because we start from the back every race. So I don't think that's, you know, it's been something that's been possible. But uh, the field is completely spread out right now, which is going, oh no, that's not a good corner. I don't know what happened there. Um, just calm it down. I need to get to the bottom lane. That's not going to work. Okay, so never mind. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. I should be way past number 30 by now. 29th and cut it down temps going up already it's going up already my goodness that might be too too much uh tape oh 262 if it goes to 265 that's a problem uh oh might be a problem it might be a problem 264 all right we're flirting with a little bit of danger here it's at 264 265 266 it's going a little bit too high for my liking i'm definitely taking some tape off on the pit stop that's too much i don't i don't want it getting to those levels of, uh, of temperature. Uh, where's Denny Hamlin? 4.5 seconds ahead. Okay. Let's just not look at the temp for now. Hopefully it won't decrease the speed or anything like that. We'll be fine. All right. I think it has hurt the engine. I don't know. Look, I'm not, I'm not really gaining down the straights. I just ran a 31 zero where that's three tenths off of the best lap. So I don't know. Nah, that's it's, it's, I think there's a little bit of a punishment here. It's at 266 at the moment. It's not terrible. I don't. I don't think. I mean, maybe I'm just like, you know, imagining it. But I feel like I should be a little bit faster. I don't know. Especially down the straights, like right here. I feel like with a 100 all the way around car, I should probably be able to pull that a little bit more. And I'm losing time a little bit down this straight. Yeah. So might have a little engine issue right now. Might. I'm not entirely sure, but. Uh, we might. Also, I just saw my arrow was at 99%, and I have no damage. Why, why is my arrow at 99% with no damage? That's interesting. So 
So the stage win is definitely not going to happen. We're 7.3 seconds back, and it just keeps going up and up and up, especially down the straights. So yeah, there's definitely a an engine issue here. Uh, we gotta get the tape down 100%. I don't, I don't really know why it has started like this. Uh, I thought I would have it at a, at a decent, you know, number, but I guess not. Um, so we're overheating. Other than that, the car feels fine. It's a little bit too loose. Uh, you can tell because the right, right, the right rear tire is uh, wearing out more than the right front, and I can feel it. It's a little bit too loose. I'm scrubbing a little bit too much speed off the thing. So we're not going to get the stage one here. So we're just we're going to do the normal four tires and fuel and uh, kind of set the car up for stage number two. So we're going to go up on the wedge, down on the tape, get those two things worked out, um, and then hopefully for stage two we'll be able to attack and, and get something a much better result than what we're going to do right now. Because right now we're only 16th and... Let's just, let's be honest, we're just not really catching anyone. It's not really good at the moment. Never a good sign when you have three orange notifications down on the bottom of your screen. 9% on the right rear tire. We're definitely putting this lap. Books, 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 books. Just follow Chris Busher right in. Use him as a little bit of a guide. Be a little bit more aggressive. And 45 miles per hour. I think I was going a little bit faster. I think I was going 49, but I think we're fine. Uh, four tires, wedge, up a few clicks, tape down, yeah, we'll go down, actually, let's be safe, down two. Five to go, five let's to go. go, make sure it's not overheating at all. 13.3 second stop will get us in the top ten, I think. Denny Hamlin, Truex, Byron, Keselowski, Bowman, there we go, that should be a top ten position. Now let's get out of pit road, let's see if we can gain any, any time here, oh god. Nope, no time. Okay. Well, I'll take it. That should put us in the top 10. Let's go. It did not put us in the top 10. It put us in 11 with three laps to go on the stage. I want to see what kind of speed the car has in the moment and how it handles. I think it handles a lot better right there through one and two. I don't feel loose coming off the corner, so that's good. Now, look, I'm looking at the straight line speed. It looks back to normal. I'm, look I'm not looking at actually in front of us. I'm looking at the leader gap because I noticed we were losing about... 310, so that's just not gonna help. Well, never mind. Okay, it's not been a great race for me so far, but I was losing 310 a lap down the straights, and so that was not good. So I wanted, well, now I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer to see if that's gonna work or anything because I just smacked the right side of my car. Alright, not the best of stage, uh, not the best of stage one at all. Okay. Actually, really disappointing. I'm not, not, I'm not happy about that at all. Um, we were pretty bad compared to our standards. Uh, yeah, not very good. We're gonna repair the car. I'm gonna keep the tape at 40%. Uh, we'll get to ninth. I'm a little bit worried about the speed of the car. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, but we'll, we'll try to to manage something here. Stage two. Let's see how long it is. In three, two, one. It is 17 laps. Okay, so two laps shorter than stage one. Let's see if we can get uh, just or stay with Hamlin. I don't. I don't think we can beat them on outright speed. Maybe we can. Uh, we'll see right here. Give me my straight line speed, please. Thank you very much. That's nice. That's a lot better. All right. Nice and easy in a three. Down to the bottom. Denny Hamlin's gonna lose the lead to Truex. We're just gonna creep our way down here. Straight line speed. It's feeling better. I'm feeling good. All right. 16 to go in the stage. That's a terrible mistake by me to slide up the track. Oh, God. Okay, three wide, not where we want to be. Just going to back off of it here. Let Byron go. Pull the crossover, gas it up, and clear. Good thing we got clear right there because that would have been a side draft if I stayed right on his, uh, or stayed on his fender for another, like, two more seconds. So we move. Get back up to the top of the track. Try to get around Hamlin. I don't want Truex to go away, so mm, that's not going to work. A little bit of contact coming off. Nice and easy through three. Okay, there we go. I think the balance of the car is a lot better now than it was in the first run. I, I, I just don't know if we have the speed to, to keep up with Truex, but I'm going to try. We do not have the speed. It's not there. Oh, man. Yeah, this is... Uh, well, if I wanted a challenge on this nice Saturday afternoon, or, or Saturday morning, it, it's going to be a challenge. Um, I'm not really sure how I can win this race, because we're not even really close to Truex and, and the front guys. It's just, 
it's it's not even comparable. Um, I think if we run this whole run, I don't think I'm gonna be able to even stay within the the distance to overtake him with a pit stop. I mean, uh, it's uh it's gonna be hard. It looked like on the the restarts too. We don't have the speed on the restarts. I'm trying to figure something out. And caution. Um, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna pit four tires and fuel. And 15, 17 guys stayed out. That's a very interesting strategy. I wonder if they can make it. I think they maybe can make it. But, okay, we have to get around these guys ASAP. Uh, we got, what, six laps to work with? Yeah, six laps. Uh, Timmy Hill, you gotta go, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. No, get get out of the way. Just, that's, that's ridiculous. Just... I'm trying to get in behind him. He just slows down. It, that's just uh, back markers. Nothing worse. Nothing worse in NASCAR than back markers, especially back markers that are 10 miles per hour slower than the rest of the field. Uh, get out of my way, please. We have a, go a stage to go in. Kyle Busch is the leader. Let's go get him. There's Brendan gone. Get all these back markers out of my way. Get out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. You're all slow. Get out of the way. Move, 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 move. Suarez out. Priest out, go, see you later, shoe. Nope, okay. The joy stay by the wall. We got Kurt Bush still behind us. He's on fresh tires with us. Gotta keep him behind. He's just following the hole that we create. Alright, down there. Oh, a little bit sideways on the apron. I was able to predict it and be able to save that. That was a little bit scary. Okay. Through the main back markers. Now we gotta go get catch the guys with older tires with four laps. Oh, please keep running the high line. I'll be there in a sec. Hold on. Two to go in stage two. We got to get around Kozlowski quick. Or maybe push him up to Kyle Busch. I mean, I'm not really sure. We could use the draft a little bit, I guess. Uh, but I, no, I got to get around him here. Come on. Oh, he's pitting. He's pitting. He's pitting. He's pitting. He's pitting. He's pitting. Oh, that's going to mess us up, though, because I can't run the line I want to run. <sighs> Wait, no, he's not pitting? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I literally heard pitting ahead of you. And he, he did the line to pit. Oh my god. This game is so frustrating sometimes. That really just screwed us up. I was able, I, We might have had a slim chance to get to Kyle Busch, but now that's not gonna happen. Can they run out of fuel or something? Oh, there they go. Alright, are you guys gonna pit this time? Please pit. Please, give me the stage win. Go. Get. Nope, they don't pit. Come on, Kyle Busch, run out of fuel. Kyle, run out of fuel. No. Uh, okay. Well, that adds to the frustration list. I do not care about my nine points. I wanted the playoff point. But nope, we do not get the playoff point. All right. We'll restart first, though. All right, 25 laps in the final stage. We're in the night time of the day now. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, we know a caution is going to come out eventually, so prepare for that. And uh, let's just try to stay in the lead and hopefully don't make any mistakes. Let's see if I can keep my groove on. I've been really consistent lately. I want to keep it going, so try to focus here. This is really challenging. I'm having to run a completely different line to keep Kurt Busch behind us. And this is just like, just enter low and just park the car there. This is uh, really hard. Oh, that's what I did earlier in the race. I was able to catch it again. This time Kyle Busch is gonna go around the outside. I tried slowing him up there, but that did not work. All right, maybe that might help us though, because I was really struggling to keep Kurt behind us. Maybe a little bit pulled down the straight will allow me to do just that, is, is slide up before I enter one and actually enter the corner how I want to, so I can make it uh, normally. So Kyle getting in front of us might help us defend from Kurt, because Kurt is insanely fast at the moment. Kyle's going to go up high. We might get the lead back here. And we do. Okay. Perfect. Just got to make sure I don't do that apron mistake again. That was pretty bad. But here's what I'm talking about. So now without the pull from Kyle, if I slide up right here, you can see Kurt's coming. And I have to just take that evasive action and kind of enter lower. And then keep him. I got to keep it low here. Keep it low again, keep it blocked. Yeah, that, that that's definitely very difficult. Enter low again through three to block them. This messes up the entire entry of the corner. Oh my goodness. Alright. It's 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 tough to block off the Bush brothers, I'll admit that. Made a mistake. Did not enter one well at all. There goes Kurt. And oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. That was that was a little bit scary coming out of turn two. Okay, hopefully he goes high now. And ew, I'm going to try to get underneath that. Side draft, side draft, side draft. I'm on the quarter panel. I'm on the quarter panel. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That should have pulled him back. That should have pulled him back. All right. Come on. In the draft. In the draft. In the draft. Come on. 16 laps to go. And Truex, no, don't get below me. Don't get below me. Oh, that's going to hurt us. And I, luckily, I was able to get back in front of Truex before he tried to make another move. All right, got to keep Kurt in our sights before pit stops come by. How far away are we? Five laps until pit stops. Here, we're going to go again. I am on the quarter panel. That better pull him. Pull him. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. Nope. Not working. All right, got block Truex. All right, this is multitasking at its finest right here. Back underneath. Oh, no, not this time. Thank you, Truex, for saving me. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that's that's my mistake. I knew it was probably happening. And it had... What did those guys do? Huh. I lost nine spots. Okay. Did they take two tires? If they took two tires, I'm okay with that. Twelve laps remaining. 15 laps of fuel. I might have taken two tires. All right. Problem is I have to go catch them right now. I cannot let them go away. So got to get to them. All right. That's a decent three and four. Now we're going to just try to get underneath Hamlin here. Beautiful. Puts us in the top five. Truex goes back too. And we know Kurt is probably one of the fastest guys in the field right now. Get around Keselowski. Okay. Now we just gotta stay with these guys. We're gonna have to beat them straight up on speed over this 12 lap run, which is gonna be very hard. But uh, I will try my best. All right, just gotta make sure we always stay on the bottom. I can't slide up. I gotta stay in the draft of these guys. Hopefully clear Kyle here. Yep, we got him clear. Okay, Kurt, pull me along, my friend. What a power move. Oh, that was amazing. What a power move. Okay, beautiful. Was able to not make, not have to make contact. Get underneath them. Now, I think because they're on older tires, it looks like it. Maybe we can kind of try and pull away. I'm going to try my best. Ooh, Truex was catching me. Then he went to the top. That's going to give me a little bit of breathing room. All right. Six laps to go. And somehow I'm in the lead. I was not expecting this, to be honest. But we've been able to uh, turn it around. And even with a mistake... I was able to not wreck the car too badly, keep my track position, and uh, get back to the lead. So that was really lucky that when we spun, Shurex was there to kind of just uh, square us out a little bit. Um, going nice and easy through three and four. He so far has not been able to really close the gap too much, so five to go. We're on three to go now. Shurex is falling back. I'm expecting the caution. I just, I just have a feeling it's coming. I mean, it, it, it always seems to come when we're in the lead at the end of these races. And a little, not a long run, but like a 10-lap like a run with the caution. Uh, it, just, it just happens to come out somehow. So we have 30 seconds left to see if the caution will come out because we got two laps to go. Uh, Truex has fallen back. Ever since he started running that top lane, for some reason, he's fallen back. And there he goes, he goes running the top again. So... I think it's because they only took two tires and, and their left sides are worn at the moment, hence why I've been able to pull away this run, because obviously any other run I've not been able to pull away. So we got lucky with the strategy. About 15 more seconds until we have this race in the bag. If a caution came out right now, I'm going to throw the controller at the monitor, and we're good. White flag lap brought to you by Credit One Bank, and we got... See, I told you it was going to happen. Thank God we were able to get across the start finish line. A caution has occur occurred. We already got the white flag lap. We win again. Four in a row. Four in a row. My goodness. What is going on with me? Oh, I'm so proud of myself. It just goes up and up and up. 67 playoff points now. I am very, very happy with how the last uh, part of this season is going. That's a nice trophy. A little horse on there. I like that. The Quaker State 400 presented by Wheelmert. I'll take it. All right. Next up is going to be New Hampshire for five in a row. My goodness. I wonder how long I can keep this going. Okay. Uh, yeah. Th this series is taking a nice turnaround and, and I'm just, I'm in the groove. I'm just chilling. 
I will see you guys tomorrow for the the post race review of Phoenix. Uh, hopefully that's going to be a good one. Um, and then I'll see you guys on Monday for NASCAR and Sideline as well. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below. And close and close to 50k subscribers. So make sure you subscribe. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, yeah, peace out.